made me decide to compose? Well, actually, I knew from the time I was quite young that that's what I wanted to do. Um, and I remember what, I suppose what it came from was listening to recordings with my dad. Um, he loved to listen to Bach cantatas, and he also really loved the Mozart violin concertos, um, piano concertos. So I, I kind of remember sitting with him and, and just listening to this wonderful music. And at one point or another, I said, you know, who made this music? How did it come into being? And so he explained that that, that was certain people's jobs, you know, to write this music. And I said, I want to do that. I want to make this beautiful, beautiful music too. So from that point onwards, that was kind of my focus in a very single-minded type of way. My formal musical education began at the age of four. I started um, on Suzuki violin, but at that point I already knew that being a composer was my ultimate goal. So shortly after the violin I switched to piano and then the harp became my primary instrument pretty early on. Um, and I think, you know, I've always kept close touch with an instrument and that's something that's tremendously important to me. A lot of what I think about when I compose is my own roots in tonal music. And though my music isn't always tonal, I do feel as though it's structured in a way so that the harmonic areas and the pitch areas relate to one another in a pretty well worked out structural way. So a lot of what I do is I kind of sit and I work out my ideas on that very cellular kind of motivic and harmonic level. I think what, what Getting knee deep into an instrument allowed me to do, and more than knee deep really, it allowed me to um, become very intimate with the idea of actually producing sound. So not just sort of thinking through it and, and um, you know, manipulating it on a more abstract level, but actually knowing what it was like to get my hands around an instrument and, you know, really, really get deep with the music. And now, um, you know, the harp plays an enormous role in what I do and and I find that being an active performer um, of both the standard repertoire and new music is it, it not only sort of keeps me healthy as a musician but it also gives me a unique opportunity to develop an instrument that's thought of in some way as a miscellaneous instrument. I think in some ways my model um, I look back I look back to the wonderful pianist composers that we've had in the past like Chopin or Brahms or Beethoven, you know, um, composers who have composed for their instruments and really expanded what that, um, what that palette means moving forward.